felt good. Um, you know, I thought maybe a little shaky in the first period and, um, you know, kind of settled down and not a lot of shots. So just tried to stay into it and, you know, a good third period. I was happy with that. What do you think when you're lying in bed tonight and you look back at tonight's game? What, what, what are the things that are going to come to mind? Or I don't you, know if there's going to be, <laughs> yeah, probably not sleep. No, it's, uh, you know, it's rewarding. You know, you put the work in each and every day and, um, you know, you dream about that as a kid and to get that first, first game and first win, um, you know, feels really awesome and obviously leaves me wanting more. Having been through both now, how does the NHL prepare the NHL? I mean, everybody's skilled out there, right? They're the best players in the world and, um, you know, I think the American League's maybe a little bit easier, but, uh. You know, I think it was good for me to get a game here and go back down and hopefully go win a Calder Cup. Fedora was saying that after their second one, when they came up to you, you just like, yeah, it's not your fault. Yeah, no, it's uh, poor read by me not going to get that puck in the corner. And then, uh, you know, as soon as the guy was in front, he batted it in. So I was pretty confident that it was a goal. Granted, in the American League, that's probably counted. So it's <laughs> uh, very grateful for that. What was going through your mind in the third period when you guys were defending a lead? Yeah, I, mean, I was thinking just trying to play my game. Um, you know, I felt more comfortable, and they were throwing some more pucks to the net. And um, you know, we did a good job of getting that lead, and you know, just being able to play with it. And you know, I think I was pretty confident out there. And um, you know, obviously rewarding for Z to get a hat trick and, and finish it off there. Well, I was really talking you up this morning. What was that moment like at the end when you two were able to celebrate together? Yeah, he's an unbelievable person, and and obviously a great player as well. Um, you know, it was the heart of our team in Stockton last year, and you know, even just being in here for for one game, he's you know, chatting everybody up and making sure everybody's spirits are not down. And um, you know, that's the type of person he is. He's always there to pick you up. And you know, obviously, going back to uh, the American League now, that uh, he's going to be a very big piece for our group. I asked Matt how cool it was to go up for the rookie lap with the two of you, and he said. Only thing next time is gonna remember a couple pucks. Yeah, normally uh, I only knock one puck off, and he obviously didn't knock many more. So <laughs> I did a couple laps and uh, left him to it. So probably uh, me and Guy on my part, but cool moment for you as well. Yeah, it was obviously pretty awesome. You know, you come out and you see all the kids on the glass, and um, you know they're excited to see you. And obviously, I was super excited to get on the ice for my first game, and um, I'm always super blessed for tonight. He was pretty happy you hit him with that tape to tape pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, there was one puck out there, so it was like, <laughs> I better not be the one to shoot it. So, um, no, I just tried to give him the puck. And, you know, he was incredible out there. I thought he made some awesome plays. He had a lot of good chances to bury, and, um, you know, it just didn't happen. But, you know, I think he's going to be a really awesome player in this organization. I know uh, you've heard it before, but in a full building at the NHL level, how cool are the howls after the saves? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I know uh, there's not as many at Wrangler games, but uh, you know, it was pretty awesome to see how emotionally invested they are to, to the Flames and obviously very thankful for, for them to come out and, and watch our, our last game here. And um, you know, I was looking forward to next season. How comfortable do you allow yourself to sort of enjoy this for tonight? How quickly does the focus get back to kind of winning championships? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we'll leave that to tomorrow, but... Uh, you know, go back and try to get two wins in Abbotsford there and, um, you know, clinch up the first and hopefully get a buy. So it's uh, obviously really looking forward to it. We had a really good chance last year and came up just short. So we got another outstanding team and uh, hopefully looking to go far. Despite that excitement, like, is it you just won your first NHL game and you know you won't get another chance at this level till October at least? Like, is that part hard for you? Yeah, I mean, I think right now I'm just grateful to, to have that opportunity. Um, you know, Marky and Vladdy were doing their thing, and you know, I was doing mine. And um, you know, obviously, super excited to be able to get one in at the very end of the season, and um, kind of keep my confidence up going into the playoffs and with the Wranglers. And it's uh, you know, it leaves you wanting more for for next year for sure.